Hi everyone, good morning and uh, welcome back to the channel. So if you are just joining us for the first time, uh, my name is Ifa Jimmy Fakarode and this is a spiritual channel where we share different spiritual things. So if you have never subscribed, please uh, do well by subscribing now and also turn on the notification bell so that each time we post a video, you will be notified. So, <clears throat> uh, this morning I want to teach you another spiritual tip, uh, which I believe is going to benefit everyone. I actually got this as a request, so I'm going to show you in the video, particularly uh, from a lady asking, she's facing this kind of uh, challenges. I mean, so and uh, that also reminds me that uh, last year someone asked for this particular thing or let me say like two people last year they asked for this particular thing and what is the thing uh, it's about when you are experiencing something moving in your body you know something moving in your body you know medically some people will say that's and maybe you are having some issues maybe you are having some bacteria you're having some kind of infection is in your, your body that make it your, your base, like you feel that something is moving in your body but spiritually looking at it you cannot say uh, if it happens like that or maybe constantly you will just conclude it is medical issue or let's say you are taking every measure to cure it medically and it, 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 it didn't go then that will assure you that uh, it is the right time you should look for the solution spiritually and talking about the spiritual aspect of experiencing something moving in your body there are something that is attached to it the first one is offer there is something we call offer in my language and in the english meaning it, will, it, it simply means a spiritual arrow when you are having this spiritual arrow in your body you will be experiencing something like that, like something moving in your body and at a particular place, noting that uh, there's a particular thing inside of you that feels like maybe some kind of blockage, that feels like something is like an arrow, like a physical arrow in your body, but you cannot touch it, you cannot feel You may even go to hospital, they diagnose you, they check it and they see that uh, uh the thing is not a medical thing they cannot see anything if you are having the offer in your body it's a spiritual a spiritual hero spiritual hero and there are various ways you can encounter this so uh this can be sent to people uh by wicked uh, people maybe you know maybe when you're having a spiritual uh, enemy spiritual attacks there's a way you can get it into your body there's a way they send it to people and i pray that uh, whoever is watching this uh, i pray you don't encounter such thing so another way you can encounter this is for people that likes to walk around in the night you know they like they like to walk around in the night uh, because um sorry if the video is taking longer as you know me i will always make explanation about spirituality because spirituality is not about watching video alone watching and you know learning alone you have to know the lectures before you can be spiritually buoyant you have to know the knowledge there are some basic knowledge you need to know and now when you for people walking around in the night uh, they may encounter the uh, spiritual arrow as well and uh, that is when it happens it, it may even happen when you are very young and uh, it will take effect when you go older that's where you will see some people complaining about it so if you like to walk around in the night especially let's say around 12 1, 1 a.m something like that you know there are some people that will say they are going to fiji all sort of uh, religious thing like that so if this thing is going around in spirituality there are some specific time you have to be very careful of moving around and another people that can encounter is, is maybe um, you 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 always like to keep your clothes outside 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 in the night maybe some people will keep their clothes outside in the night in african uh, spirituality it is not always good to keep your clothes outside so even if it is if it has not dried it's better you take it inside and dry it the following day 
so now you leave it outside all day it is not good so it's simply there's a lot of things that can come into that clothes and when you wear it you gain in you put in a problem into your body so spirituality is very wide that's why i always take my time to explain and if you are watching this right now make sure you watch right from the beginning to the end and like this video so that uh, you will learn a lot and uh, you will not do any mistake so if you are having this experience all you need is um alligator pepper and uh, palm kernel so you are going to need something like this alligator pepper alligator pepper as yes, i'm holding it you will need the alligator pepper now when you get the alligator pepper and uh, then you buy maybe uh, a bottle of palm kernel a bottle of palm kernel so those are the two things you need if you are having this issue so you can do it uh, and uh, do it for your for for your child for your child if, if they are experiencing it do it for your children do it for your husband so but one thing is one alligator pepper for each for a single person and how are you going to do it when you get the alligator pepper you will remove the seed every seed inside of the alligator pepper let me show you so now this is the this is a this is an alligator pepper then you will remove every seed inside of it every seed you know i've removed the everything inside of this alligator pepper you can see it is very empty now it is very empty there's nothing inside that means we've removed the seed so this is what we need we need just the shell just the back of the alligator pepper the cover is what we need so we don't have to so this every seed you take inside of this uh, alligator pepper you buy you go and bury it you go and you must not use it all for this particular tip you must not use it so you will go and bury the every every seed you find inside this uh, alligator pepper you go and bury it then this is what you need and how are you going to do it you will grind this very gently you will grind it very well you may even use uh, um, grinder you may use blender you may use mortar and pestle you can use a grinding stone anything just to make sure you grind it into powder this is what we need this is all what you need you grind this into powder this back of the alligator pepper you grind it into powder and then you must make sure there's no seed of alligator pepper in it too. then after grinding it then uh, you um, you put it into one plastic maybe uh, white plastic or anything very clean that has cover you put the powder there and they pour some palm kernel on it you pour some palm kernel on it so you can get the palm kernel in african stores you can order it online so you pour it on it and cover it for like three days then after three days you will be rubbing it on the affected area you will be rubbing it at that affected area or maybe where you notice things are moving and if it is moving all, all over all around your body and you've used ev everything but yet it did not go so you go and try this you'll be rubbing it all over your body until you notice a very good changes and also you may be licking it you after rubbing it it is not poisonous it's not something you can uh, it, this thing is very edible so you 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 will be licking it for a fast uh, uh, resort you'll be licking it and be rubbing it in your body after batting so it's very good to do this at night and when you want to rub it in your body let it be at night it's very good when you are planning to sleep you rub it all over your body as the, the normal way you use your cream you just rub it from your head to toe and the thing will disappear in no time and then you'll be licking it as well to make sure it removes it from inside of you from inside of you and the thing will go completely uh, uh, uh let me remind you you are not to uh, share the, the the thing assuming now you do you buy uh, the alligator pepper that is for you if you want to do it for your children maybe for your for your relative that means you have to buy another alligator pepper for them and bury the seed inside remove everything and bury it inside uh, inside of ground and then that's it so this is for people having spiritual harrow in their body spiritual arrow so i'll be doing lectures on it very soon so make sure you uh you like the video 
and uh, again i'll be doing another video for people that are hit in the dream as well i posted a video on how to stop eating in the dream but what if you've eaten it <laughs> you know before you came maybe before you came across the video you have been experiencing something like eating in the dream and i told you the implication that it is very bad when you are eating in the dream you have to take a very quick action because it's not good what will be happening to you who is very even bad is something compared to this uh, offer this is even offer is even more better than none of them is good but it is not good to be eating in the dream so when you're having that experience uh you better go and watch that video where where, where which i make where you have to remove uh, uh something like that from your body so